false prophets in these last days, beware of those who come to you in sheep's clothing, but inwardly they want to devour you like wolves, they do not care about you. They only want your praise directed toward them instead of towards God. 1 John 4-1 Beloved Believe not every spirit, but try the spirits whether they are of God, because many false prophets are gone out into the world. 2 Peter 2-1 two to one. But there were false prophets also among the people. Even as there shall be false teachers among you, who privily shall bring in damnable heresies, even denying the Lord that bought them, and bring upon themselves swift destruction. Matthew 7.15 Beware of false prophets, which come to you in sheep's clothing. But inwardly they are ravening wolves. Matthew 24, 24 For there shall arise false Christ and false prophets, and shall show great signs and wonders, insomuch that, if it were possible, they shall deceive the very elect. Deuteronomy 18.20 But the prophet which shall presume to speak a word in my name, which I have not commanded him to speak, or that shall speak in the name of other gods, even the prophet shall die. 1 Corinthians 14.33 For God is not the author of confusion, but of peace, as in all churches of the saints. Jeremiah 23.26 How long shall this be in the heart of the prophets that prophesy lies? Yea. They are prophets of the deceit of their own heart. Where there is no vision, the people perish. But he that keepeth the law, which is the word of God the Lord, happy is he. Jeremiah 23, verse 16 to 20. Thus saith the Lord of hosts, Hearken not unto the words of the prophets that prophesy unto you. They make you vain. They speak a vision of their own heart and not out of the mouth of the Lord. They say still unto them that despise me. The Lord has said, you shall have peace. And they say unto every one that walketh, after the imagination of his own heart, no evil shall come upon you. For who has stood in the counsel of the Lord, and has perceived and heard his word? Who has marked his word and heard it? Behold, a whirlwind of the Lord has gone forth in fury, even a grievous whirlwind. It shall fall grievously upon the head of the wicked. The anger of the Lord shall not return until he have executed, until he have performed the thoughts of his heart. In the latter days, you shall consider it perfectly. Or in other words, you shall know it perfectly. As it is written, in the latter days, for yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord so cometh as a thief in the night. For when they shall say, Peace and safety, as it is written, they say still unto them that despise me, The Lord has said, You shall have peace. And they say unto every one that walketh, hath the imagination of his own heart. No evil shall come upon you. Or in other words, safety. Then, sun destruction cometh upon them, 
as travail upon a woman with child, and they shall not escape. But ye, brethren, are not in darkness, that that day should overtake you as a thief. As it is written, night shall be unto you, that ye shall not have a vision. And it shall be dark unto you, that ye shall not divine. And the sun shall go down over the prophets, and the day shall be dark over them. But unto you that fear the Lord Jesus Christ shall the Son of Righteousness arise with healing in his wings, and ye shall go forth and grow up as calves of the stall. To him that has ears to hear, let him hear. Amen. Yeah. everyone in Jesus name today I just want to read Matthew chapter 7 all right let's get it on Matthew chapter 7 1 to 29 judge not that ye be not judged for with what judgment ye judge ye shall be judged and with what measure ye meet it shall be measured to you again and why beholdest thou the mote that is in thy brother's eye, but considerest not the beam that is in thine own eye? Or how wilt thou say to thy brother, Let me pull out the mote out of thine eye, and behold, a beam is in thine own eye? Thou hypocrite, first cast out the beam out of thine own eye, and then shalt thou see clearly to cast out the mote out of thy brother's eye. Give not that which is holy unto the dogs, neither cast ye your pearls before swine, lest they trample them under their feet, and turn again and rend you. Ask, and it shall be given you. Seek, and ye shall find. Knock, 
and it shall be opened unto you. For every one that asketh, receiveth. And he that seeketh, findeth. And to him that knocketh, it shall be opened. Or what man is there of you, whom if his son ask bread, will he give him a stone? Or if he ask a fish, will he give him a serpent? If ye then, being evil, know how to give good gifts unto your children, how much more shall your Father, which is in heaven, give good things to them that ask him? Therefore all things whatsoever ye would that men should do to you, do ye even so to them, for this is the law and the prophets. Enter ye in at the straight gate, for wide is the gate, and broad is the way that leadeth to destruction, and many there be which go in thereat. Because straight is the gate, and narrow is the way which leadeth unto life, and few there be that find it. Beware of false prophets, which come to you in sheep's clothing, but inwardly they are ravening wolves. Ye shall know them by their fruits. Do men gather grapes of thorns, or figs of thistles? Even so every good tree bringeth forth good fruit, but a corrupt tree bringeth forth evil fruit. A good tree cannot bring forth evil fruit, neither can a corrupt tree bring forth good fruit. Every tree that bringeth not forth good fruit is hewn down and cast into the fire. Wherefore by their fruits ye shall know them. Not every one that saith unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven, but he that doeth the will of my Father which is in heaven. Many will say to me in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in thy name, and in thy name have cast out devils, and in thy name done many wonderful works? And then will I profess unto them, I never knew you. Depart from me, ye that work iniquity. Therefore, Whosoever heareth these sayings of mine and doeth them, I will liken him unto a wise man which built his house upon a rock. And the rain descended, and the floods came, and the winds blew, and beat upon that house, and it fell not, for it was founded upon a rock. And every one that heareth these sayings of mine and doeth them not shall be like unto a foolish man which built his house upon the sand. And the rain descended, and the floods came, and the winds blew, and beat upon that house, and it fell. And great was the fall of it. And it came to pass, when Jesus has ended these sayings, the people were astonished at his doctrine, for he taught them as one having authority, and not as the scribes. Amen. I hope you like this reading of Matthew chapter 7. God bless you.